my name is Bradley Ryan. Today we're here at Cambridge University to speak to Dr. Aubrey de Grey. Aubrey reckons it might be possible with science to allow humans to live way longer than they already do. He hasn't quite worked out how yet, but imagine that. Would you like to live forever? So, Aubrey, I understand that you're trying to make humans live for a longer period of time. Well, actually, that's a rather distorted description of what I'm trying to do. Yeah. What I'm actually trying to do is stop people from getting sick when they get old. Now, of course, the main reason people die is when they get sick. Yeah. So, for sure, if we succeed in stopping people from getting sick from the major reasons why people do these days, then there will be this side effect that people will on average live longer. So, Aubrey, how did this how did this idea or theory come along? Did it just pop into your head in the morning, or did you do your calculations first and realise it was possible? Most people kind of understood that Alzheimer's is bad for you and that cancer is bad for you and they're trying to do something about it and they're spending plenty of money on research yeah. and all that. But they were kind of missing the point that these things mainly affect people who were born a long time ago. In other words, they are kind of side effects of having been alive. It always was obvious to me that that's what aging is. It's like aging of a car. It's the yeah. accumulation of damage that happens as kind of byproducts of of the of the machine's normal operation. And of course the human body is a machine. Yeah. It's a really, really, really complicated machine, but yeah. it's still a machine. Just just curious, Kristen, how long how long do you think that someone like me would live? A thirteen year old. <laughs> right. So this is a wonderful question. And of course everyone's interested in this, whether they're thirteen or fifty three or whatever. The answer is I can't give you a simple answer because this is all research. We don't know how quickly the research is going to come to fruition. But here's the way that I would like you to think about the answer to the question. The way to think about the answer is, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long you're going to live. What matters is, you're going to live longer than your imagination can actually anticipate. Even living to 100 is longer than my imagination can anticipate, and I'm 52 already. I have absolutely no idea what the world's going to be like in 48 years, and not yet, right? See this rope? This is fun. See that blue rope? Yeah. But there's, there's more of those further up. Um, people like swing across the river. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, obviously you've got to have the, 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 a lot longer than that to get the whole way across. Yeah. But they have those. That is really amazing. Like, I've always wanted to do that. Just a bit like the jungle. Um, who would you want to meet? Anyone you can, live or dead? Well, you see, the wonderful thing about thinking that you might live an awfully long time is that you don't have to make particular priorities. I'm going to be able to meet everyone that I'd like to meet. So, I mean, I'd, you know, I'd love to meet Lady Gaga. She's as good at what she does as I am at what I do, and there's yeah. not many people like that. So, it would be nice to meet her. Understand. Um, you know, that kind of thing. But, I mean, I could go on all day thinking of people I'd like to meet, and luckily, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to meet all those people, because both I and they are going to live a long time. What was you like as a child? Did, was you a very active child or was you a...? Actually, I had a rather sheltered childhood. I don't have any brothers or sisters, and my mum didn't have any brothers or sisters either, and my father left my mum before I was born. Yeah. So my family consisted of me and my mum. Yeah. And, um, you know, I was actually really socially, you know, um, retarded, really, for a long time. I really didn't get much of a handle on how to interact with people until I went to boarding school when I was 13. What is, the, what is the best advice you would give to children? But if you're looking at this, you're looking at our conversation and you're thinking, you know, I'd love to make a contribution to the defeat of ageing, that's a very specific thing. If you want me to give advice on how you can do that, then yeah, I can yeah. give a pretty clear advice. Someone your kind of age, 13, has the opportunity to choose what they're going to be trained to be good at. Over the next few years, before you finish school, You've got a lot of time to focus on a particular area as your main topic of interest. Yeah. And the right thing to do is pretty obvious, actually. Just learn a lot of biology. Really get a good yeah. feel for what biology is all about. Just one, one last sure. question. Sure. Star Wars or Star Trek, which do you prefer? <laughs> I'm quite keen on Star Trek, but here's the bad news. I'm really only familiar with the first two series. But I like Star Wars as well. You know, I generally I'm I'm good with fantasy. I like the Avengers films and so on. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I've enjoyed my afternoon on the river with Aubrey, who
Who knows, maybe I'll still be around in the next century to do it again. See you next time.